Hi there, Gloria again. Just thinking, when did you have your car serviced last? Do you like to have it fine tuned? Do you like to service it, repair it, maintain it? At least have somebody else do it. I learned a lot about my body when we were in the service station in Inverell, 1977, for a few years in our own mechanical workshop, running cars about for people, doing that customer service thing, listening to noises, um, knocks, the running of the motor, and coming back to the workshop and having a bit of fun with Keith, telling him what I thought was wrong with that. Now, I hadn't thought much about my body at that point in time, <clears throat> but I was a um, chocoholic, a sugarholic, not an alcoholic, but a coffeeaholic. And fast food was convenient after long days. Run home and eat it on the floor out of a piece of paper. I've done it all. I've had a lot of fun, a lot of adventure, and among all of that, <clears throat> my health went down, 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 down. I had potential to do that anyway. Some of us do, some of us don't, some of us hold the toxins worse than others, some of us think we hold them better than others. It's interesting, I met a lady last year, and she said, but I've had no health problems. I just got cancer. That's the first thing that's happened to me. It shows how silently things work in your body, even when you don't know what they're doing. Sorry, the wind's blown up here. <coughs> I crashed the first time really bad, um, even though I'd had problems before, long term. Uh, I crashed in about 2003 or 2004. It was when I first really got to see my own live blood on an analysis machine. And I could see that these um, beautiful cells <clears throat> were terribly clogged and sick, starving for oxygen, starving for well-being. So I had my body, I had my blood, I had my cells. My hormones, I always knew I had them. All the symptoms that women have. Men have some symptoms too. Huge stress. Stress is equal killer to diet. Bad diet. But it was then that I learned about something about the gut. And the gut how important it is. <clears throat> I still didn't realise it was number one priority until the last couple of years it's really penetrated in how much the gut is number one. We only have to listen to the media to know that autoimmune diseases, inflammation, gut issues are dominant at the moment. It's where any nutrition we have in the food we eat or the supplements we take is absorbed. And if there's no absorption, then there's little benefit. Well, if there's little benefit of absorption, there's some benefit. But if there's not much absorption, then we're doing our best, but we need to get that absorption right. So here we go. Curiosity's always got me because I, I like to to learn, even though I didn't ever go to a library in my schooling years or later until my daughter and my grandchildren hadn't been to a library. I, um, I just had within myself a standard of health that I wanted to acquire. I had learned at school, exercise had brought me beyond myself into a well-being field. Then I understood that there are other things contribute to that well-being field too. So I was beginning to discern like the car, like the symptoms of the repairs that were needing to be done, the symptoms of the repair of my own body. 
and to develop a standard of my own health. So that's where I've been led to follow, to learn and to support others, hopefully. Okay, I think I might go. Have a good day.